Hey guys, uh, Jim and Jamie here from Creek Hill Farms in Pennsylvania. Uh, I just wanted to show you the new hoop barn that we got set up. You can see that behind me. And why did we get this uh, hoop barn set up? Uh, let me turn the... well, let me talk about it first. Um, well, kind of came down to budget right now. We're doing kitchen renovations and this and that. And um, this was about... Uh, a third of the price of doing uh, traditional lumber, which is expensive right now in uh, the fall of 2022. Um, so this, uh, we actually had somebody install this and it's a 20 by 30. I think it's supposed to last 10 years, so we'll see how it holds up. But um, it's kind of a canvas material. Um, to have it installed and all was about $6,500. Uh, I usually like to do things myself, uh, but just didn't have the time right now. And uh, I looked around for kits and stuff like that and couldn't really find anything decent. Um, so they brought this in. It comes in a small, fairly small box. And let me turn the camera around here. Um, so we had some, an existing concrete slab that they drilled into here. And you can see I think this is, uh, what would this be? Steel? I think it's a steel frame. And it's, it's, by concept, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to install. I didn't do the installation, but I would assume I kind of saw them doing it. They got a boom, an extension boom, and were able to get up high and do that easily. But, uh, you can see here that it's, um, they drilled into the concrete and set up the foundation that way. And then here where we, our pasture starts, um, they actually put some six by six posts in. Let me go over here. They put some six by six posts in and then they um, drilled down into that. I know this might be not be the best uh, one right there, but um, you can see how they did it right there. And then they kind of ratchet the canvas tight. You can see the ratchet right there. And it gives us a, a quick and this is a quick uh, kind of a hoop barn. So we will continue to work on this and have a place for our boar goats, which you can see out there in the field. Um, but this definitely protects them from the wind once we close those flaps and the rain, which was the main issue for us. Uh, and then where it meets up against the barn here, the existing barn, you can see they brought the canvas in and then they put these two by fours and they also caulked it uh, so water won't come down. And you can kind of see some of the caulk that they used right here. So we'll see how that holds up. Um, we're happy with it so far. I'll probably string some lights up there uh, eventually. And I say that jokingly because who has time these days? <laughs> um, but uh, so far, uh, it seems like it's going to work out well for us. And we're going to have some a lot of baby goat kids uh, coming up here before December. So we'll probably give you some video updates on that. And I'll probably post some, it's gonna, this is actually a new channel I'm starting. Um, so I'll probably post some of our older videos of some of the goat deliveries and all that kind of fun stuff. So again, this is Jam and Jamie with Creek Hill Farms PA. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, hope that's helpful. Talk to you later.